mountains. Well, as you can imagine, Kuma is a town of only 8,000 people. Yes. So there were no other Africans in Kuma. Yes. So I, I have to say, you know, we were walking down the street, myself and another friend, and we'd stop traffic because they're turning around <laughs> oh, really? and looking. And as an only child, I've never had so much attention in my life. Or, sorry, a middle child. I'm not an only child. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it was... <laughs> <laughs> how, many children, how many children in your family? Let's work this out. Were you uh, the only child or weren't okay. you the only child? Okay, let's, let's start again. So there's four of us I'm number two so I think that puts me in the middle okay yeah. all right let's see Thank whether we uh, recognize some of the ingredients in your bag today okay. what have we got oh I have some sliced prosciutto oh. <laughs> lovely and oh mushrooms oh, yes. <laughs> smoked salmon oh. costy. Oh. Wow. costy lovely yeah looking forward to that some avocados oh. And the last thing I've brought for you today is some juicy, yummy blueberries. Ah! Ooh, okay, Damien Heads. How are you going to go with that? Confident? I think they're looking like a good bunch of ingredients. Yes, maybe something breakfasty. Maybe a bit maybe. breakfasty, yeah. yes. Okay. <laughs> we will check out who's in the green kitchen now. Uh, Vezzy, it's Vezzy's good friend, a woman who was born in Chile, grew up in Canberra, and now lives in Sydney. She's also famous for her disastrous driving. Uh, please welcome Denise. <laughs> To Hi. Ready, Steady, Cook. How are you? Good. Pumped, good. Excited. Ready. I was born ready. You were born ready. Okay, yeah, let's Jackie, go. you're going to be fine. We're pumped. Let's go. Now, do we need to uh, wear a helmet when we go driving <laughs> with you, Denise? Uh, you probably should. I'm actually a driving disaster. My friends sometimes don't let me drive, even my car. They drive my car. <laughs> really? <laughs> I am. Um, uh, but you've got your license, though. You do technically know how to drive. I, I did get it. The failed the first few times, I actually drove onto the curb yes. during my driving test. Okay. <laughs> which is an immediate fail. Right. Oh, surprise. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully we'll be safe in the kitchen. Maybe, hope, maybe no so. knives no close knives. to Denise, perhaps. Okay. But, uh, well, oh, Aww. we will find out more about your <laughs> mishaps a little bit later. Let's check out what's in the bag, Denise. Okay, cool. So we have got bananas. Bananas. <laughs> Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Oh. From Paul's, lovely. And we have got baby spinach. Yeah. We have got chorizos. Yeah. Chorizo. From Hans, lovely. And also we have got some goat's cheese. Goat's cheese, terrific. Yummy. Maybe breakfasty uh, over there I too, I may be copying Jackie. that as well, I think, I'm yes. getting an inkling. That's right. Okay, Jackie, I'll leave you with those for a couple of minutes. We will pop back over to Damien and see what he's going to prepare for us. Yummy breakfast dishes, Colin. What I'm going to start with is uh, sautéed mushrooms with sage, and we're going to serve those on toast with some avocado oh. salsa. Oh. Just a really nice, sort of a vegetarian <laughs> breakfast, that one. Then yeah. we'll do a little bit of a classic. We'll do a, um, we'll do some, like a, a mu muffin with the um, salmon, avocado, and poached eggs. It's a really oh. nice sort of thing. And then I'll do an, an open-faced omelette with the prosciutto draped over and some grated parmesan and everything and serve that with that. Yes. And blueberries. One of my favourite things for breakfast, a blueberry and lemon muffin. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You've made Vezzy very happy. OK, Jackie Gowan, what have you got in store? Come on over here, Denise. OK, we're going to make, uh, using the so we're going to make a baked egg, a baked egg. So cook off the shrewd, so yes. add some egg, maybe some spinach in there and bake it in the oven. And a, uh, I think there's some potatoes in the pantry. We're going to make a tortilla, a spinach goat cheese tortilla, like a oh. Spanish sort of omelette. Spanish style, With some grilled yes. tomatoes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, toasted muesli with strawberry yogurt. Toasted muesli? Yes. Yeah. I see. Breakfast, okay. there's eggs in the cupboard. I'm going to make some nuts and toast it off and then I'd make a lovely strawberry yogurt to go with that. Okay, oh. lovely. That's breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, that's breakfast. breakfast. I was yeah. just wondering what... Ingredients. Outside, outside the box, outside, outside the box. Outside the box, outside the box, okay, sure, sure. You're but, the boss. Back into the ingredients. Yes. Buttermilk pancakes with bananas and maple syrup. Oh. Wow. Good. Okay, <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. Audience, we've got lots to get through, so let the gaze begin with the magic words. What are they? Ready, steady, cook! Yeah. That's right. 
And they're off and cooking on the tomato side. Damien and Vezzi are cooking sautéed mushrooms with sage and avocado salsa. Open-faced omelette with prosciutto and parmesan. Salmon, egg and avocado bruschetta. And blueberry and lemon muffins. And in the green kitchen, Jackie and Denise are cooking toasted muesli and strawberry yoghurt. Baked eggs with torito, spinach and goat's cheese tortilla, banana buttermilk pancakes and maple syrup. Jackie Gowan. Hello. Could that take victory? Everybody loves a pancake. Oh, but buttermilk ones too. Buttermilk's better for you. It's good for you. So chopping up the uh, the hands uh, torito uh, first, and it is a Spanish style a torito. I've just seen there. Yeah, so it's a little packaging. bit a little bit different to a normal omelet. Yes. So, uh, Spanish omelette. Now, you would, you're gonna, not going to put potatoes in that omelette? Oh, there they are. <laughs> right here. Yes, Obs I am. I'm going to yes. just slice it up really finely and add it to the pan. And then I'm going to tip that all into the... Um, put it into the oven. This is for the vegetarian one, oh, not for the baked eggs. Yeah. OK, beautiful. Denise, uh, are you as uh, bad in the kitchen as you are on the road? Are oh, you, my uh... God. I hope not. <laughs> Otherwise, we're in danger. Otherwise, don't eat anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> now, how bad a driver are you, though? You've had oh. bingles. I have had so many car accidents. I'm a disaster. She's I almost think... killed me, too. She's almost oh, killed you. She yes. exaggerates. No, it's you not have. true. It was just a tiny scrape. OK, can um, I hear I... your version first, and then later on I'll hear Vezzi's version? Um, so we went to play soccer and we decided we were going to go to the mall on the way home, back to the office. Yes. A quick trip to the mall. Yeah. And then we were running late. Yes. As usual. So I'm reversing out quickly and I smashed the right side of my car yeah. into the pillar. Yes. And Betty's like, oh my god. And I'm she was like, on the side ah. of the car that hit the pillar, I suspect. No. Oh. She, she was, was even scared from the other side. She was safe. Right. OK. <sighs> yeah, and that's not even my worst accident. OK, all right. We'll hear that in a moment. OK, don't go away. Back shortly yeah! with more of Ready, Steady, Cool. This month's Recipes Plus for easy, budget-friendly family meals and ready, steady cook recipes. Everybody look at me. 8.30 Wednesday. In which movie did Michael Caine say this? Houston on fire. Will history blame me or the bees? Can you do it as Michael Caine? Houston on fire. Will history blame me <laughs> or the bees? Can you do it as Michael Caine? <laughs> Robin Butler better watch out. Sean's going to get his revenge in the end game. Oh, this bed is safe. Quiet, please. Charlie's finger is going to land on my head. Brand new Your Gen, 8.30 Wednesday on 10. Are you ready for digital TV? Do you have the equipment to watch and record digital TV? Approved digital advisors at participating stores can help. See the website for details. Most antennas and cables are fine. But to receive digital TV, some may need an upgrade. Endorsed antenna installers can help. For more information, visit our website or call 1800 20 10 13. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Andrew, we gave you a breakfast cereal that is high in whole grain. What did you think? Kellogg's Just Right cereal. It's over 55% whole grain. It's also high in fibre, but then it's low in salt. And what about the taste? It's that wholesome blend of wheat and oats and then just gorgeous, tasty fruit. And you've heard of Just Right clusters and five grains? I love the crunchy taste without the fruit. Kellogg's Just Right cereal, made with over 55% whole grain, all in a truly delicious blend. Even if you've tried it before, I'd definitely say try it again. Greatness. This is where it all begins. Greatness says, we earned our spot. We deserve to be here. It seizes the moment. And knows anything is possible. Greatness stands up to be counted. Will you? Touch deodorant. Stays on skin, not on clothes.
If you switch to Medibank's new hospital and extras covers, you'll feel better than ever. Because ambulance comes standard with all Medibank covers. And it's more comprehensive than other major health funds in New South Wales. Plus, you get 100% back on prescription glasses and contacts. That's sure to make you smile. New products, great value. Switch today. See the movie that has everyone talking. Oh, we loved it. Yeah, it was great. 10 out of 10. I cried and I laughed. I just loved it. It was fantastic. I thought it was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Join the conversation. The Help in cinemas now. This program brought to you by Sunbeam. Designed to help when it counts. Welcome back, Damien Heads. What are you doing there? Mixing up a Just little flour a nice concoction? Just making a sweet muffin mix. Ah, so the muffin I've, mix. What I've got in there, Colin, is some plain flour, brown sugar and baking powder. Yeah. I'm just adding a milk and egg mix. Sorry, I haven't weighed everything. I'm just being a bit chefy on this one. Oh, that's all right. Just add a little... But you can, you can back yourself with the measurements, yes. Of, yeah, that'll come together, no drama. So you just... The batter basically just needs to be until it pulls together like that. Yep. And then we'll just drop in a little bit of melted butter and then drop in the ingredients we want to flavour it. So I'm going to put some blueberries and some lemon zest in my muffins today. I see. You've made these before, obviously. Blueberries. Beautiful. Yes. You're very happy with them. Well, we've lost a blueberry over, over the bench there. It's gone. I hope you're all right. <laughs> Emergency services are on their way. The rescue team. <laughs> oh, we got it. We got a look at the blueberry. It's OK. <laughs> on our way. <laughs> Vezzy, you got any blueberry uh, first aid experience? Don't answer that. Denise has told her, uh, us about your uh, driving, uh, her driving. Yes. So, but un unfortunately for you, you can't really be too hard on her because how many times have you failed your driving test? It's six times, but in my defence... Yes. It is, is, a, is there a defence? There is a defence. Yes. It's a lot harder in Zimbabwe. It's like a spectator sport. Is people, it really? Yes. People come and watch you when you do your driver's licence. <laughs> do they? They, they do set up grandstands, sell they, popcorn? Absolutely, and they enjoy laughing at you because... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they love to see other people's misfortunes. So. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe they should try that in Australia. Maybe that would, could go quite well. Uh, but have you tried to get your licence in Australia? No, I actually haven't. I've had lessons in Australia. I haven't yes. done badly, but, um, yeah, I haven't tried. And I, you know, if Denise can pass, I'm pretty sure I'll get my licence. <laughs> <All right. laughs> With all of the greatest respect, I'm not sure whether you both should be on the roads, really, <laughs> by the sounds of things, really. Now, let's get back to uh, where you grew up in Zimbabwe. Which mm. part? I grew up in Harare. Harare? Yes. W what sort of foods did you eat growing up? We ate a lot of whole grain food, like rich in uh, vegetables, and yep. you know we grow things in our back garden. I find it crazy that people pay four dollars for a mango, three dollars for an avocado. They were in our back garden. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's. Um... So did your parents or ancestors uh, plant them, or they? That, do they just grow naturally? No, you have to plant them. Oh, OK. Yeah, you do. So, big, big garden, and you have your own fruit and vegetable patch. So, it's really good. OK, Damien, the avocado is coming along there. You're going to make a salsa. The to go salsa, with that. fantastic. Jackie Gowan. Yes, hello. A little bit of spillage there. We've had blueberry escapees. We've got spinach escapees as well. Um, I'll just tidy that up there. Thank you very much, Colin. Clean as you go. Oh, clean look at this as you mess go. I'm making. Oh, I've got the baked egg in the oven already. Yeah. Let's check that out. Uh, I've just uh, sautéed some spinach, some chorizo, onion and capsicum and I've put two eggs on top there. Yeah. And that's just going to bake on top. It'll take about ten minutes yes. to bake. Yes. OK. Beautiful. Denise, you're just uh, starting uh, yeah. the pancakes. The pancakes. Mm. What's the secret to a, a good pancake there or the, or the turning? Is it the bubbles coming out of the top there, Jackie? Well, that's when you know when to turn it, when the bubbles are appearing, yes. Yes. And we've also got a bit of mashed banana in our mixture as well, so, and we'll also put some more mm. on top. I see. Yum. So lots of mangoes and avocados in Zimbabwe. What about growing up in Chile? Uh, it's very different in Chile, actually, to Australia. How do you say Chile? Chile. Chile. Very good. Chile, OK. Very good. It's different. <laughs> Over yeah. there, what sort of stuff did you uh, eat? The food is different, for one. Yes. They eat a lot more stuff that you would never eat here, like, ever. My dad is a firm believer that grilled testicle is delicious. He, yes. Um, <laughs> yummy. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, he made me eat it. 
and he swore it was like people here in Australia don't know how to eat. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like caramelized on the outside. And once you bite into it, yeah. it's nice and like chewy and smooth. Sure it is. Creamy. Sure. That's what I've heard. What animal uh, would you find uh, that you would get those testicles from? Mm. Cows. I think cows, yes. yeah, cows. Yes. Grilled, just but, with a bit of salt and pepper and... Yeah, a bit of spice, maybe a little bit of chilli. Yep, yep. That's Have right. you ever tasted them yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. like them? No. No? Mm. All right. Oh, no. pancake's ready for turning. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> wow. Run. Thank you so much, Ms. Gowan. Run! 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 Run. <laughs> Run. Damien! That was making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, anyway, moving on. Mushrooms, butter, sage, going to saute those down. I'm just starting the avocado salsa with some um, lemon juice, olive oil, and we're doing some bruschetta, so a little bit of olive Ten oil minutes, on the bread. Ten minutes, Mr Heads. We'll get it all together. We're going to poach some yummy eggs as well. So, with your uh, cooking, I've heard that there's been a few disasters, has there, um, in the kitchen? There have been a couple. At university, perhaps? There have been a couple. Yes. Now that I've left, I think I can safely tell you the story. OK. Uh, so I went to this a very strict college on uh, Macquarie Uni. So I'm, a, I'm in college and they serve you this, this horrible college food. Well, it wasn't horrible to begin with. Yes. But it became horrible and you eat the same thing, you know, after, you know, three years. So what we do, we try and sneak in a meal, so we make packet brownies in the microwave. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, but unfortunately, I forgot about my packet brownies, and what ended up happening is that I put my brownies in the microwave and just wandered off doing what, what, I, what I was doing. What you, you were know, doing. Whatever I was doing, and then all of a sudden, I heard the fire alarm go off. Yeah. The entire college. When I ran back upstairs to go and have a look, my brownies have burnt in the microwave and set off the fire alarm, which meant that our whole college had to be evacuated. Oh, right. <laughs> and nobody knows until this day that it was you. Nobody knows, but the girls will be happy they got to see the firemen, so oh. <laughs> they did advise. Oh, they, I see. Yes, so they can thank me for that later. Oh, OK. Yeah, the firemen came and everything was sorted, but it was, uh, yeah, it was a very... Uh, Worrying experience. Yes, in the microwave. Point. In the microwave. We oh. didn't have an oven. I, oh. I worked with what I had. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> that's okay. Don't go away. We'll take a short break and be back. Yeah. On a train in the vast Australian outback, this man is acting very suspiciously. Do you know who I am? Should I? In the new season of Undercover Boss Australia, our bosses have very different offices and their employees have no idea. I think if you told a little bit more, you're probably the CEO in here, right? The new season of Undercover Boss Australia, 8.30 Monday on 10. Oh, sorry. We're still working on our accuracy. How's the house hunting going? How did you... Oh, clever. Let me guess. You're thinking that between work and family, you never really get the time to sort through your finances, figure out what you can afford, and you're thinking it shouldn't have to be this hard. ANZ makes home loans easier, with more specialists available to help you anytime, anywhere. Now you're thinking definitely something with a big yard. Milky Way's lightly whipped centre has no artificial colours or flavours. And now it's available in a two-pack. Milky Way won't ruin your appetite. I've got a family to look after, but the body's not what it used to be. So I did a bit of upskilling to stay in the job. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see the world's changed. Training doesn't just happen on the job these days. So I did an apprenticeship and got a future. The kids were getting older, so I did a recognised qualification. Now I've got a flexible job that works for me and my family. I've got 20 years of work ahead of me. Who said you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I've got the ticket to prove it. You can improve your qualifications. There are thousands of opportunities. Visit australia.gov.au forward slash skills. Or call this number. If I can do it. If I can do it. If I can do it. You can do it. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra.
Research suggests the dose of fish oil needed to help with the joint inflammation associated with arthritis is 2.7 grams of omega-3 daily. So how do you get 2.7 grams of omega-3? You could eat 1.23 kilos of snapper, eat 1.1 kilos of canned tuna, or take nine standard fish oil capsules every day. Or just take one teaspoon of Ethical Nutrients High Strength Liquid Fish Oil. With a pleasant fruit punch flavour and no fishy aftertaste, it's easy to take. Before realestate.com.au, I was dull. Now it's time to move. Now to find the perfect agent. There's a button for that too. <laughs> At realestate.com.au. We're all trying to do more with less. That's why it's good to know Cotty's Cordial is still great value. Because Cotty's is a double concentrate, the smaller one litre bottle makes the same amount as two litre cordials, which means you only use half as much to get that great Cotty's taste. And because you get the same number of serves as two litre cordials, Cotty's is still great value. Cotty's double concentrate. Same great taste, same great value. What's new where you see it first? Welcome back to Ready, Steady, Cook. Jackie Gowan, Hello. are you going okay yeah, there? I've got my baked eggs here. They're out, ready. They're out and ready to go. So I've just got the egg on top and underneath is the spinach and the chorizo, capsicum, onion, and then you yes. just crack the eggs on top and bake them in the oven. Really simple, really lovely. Yes, very, very nice. Mm. We'll serve some uh, muffins with that. Yes, okay. Now, I don't like to harp on it. This is the last question about your driving, okay? <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. But uh, something very unexpected happened one time when you ran into somebody. Yes, yes. yes. So I just bought a lamp, so I was holding onto this lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And With I one hand. One hand on the lamp, yep. one hand on the wheel. Yep. And I turned and suddenly this car braked. Yes. And I braked but not fast enough. Yes. So I went into the back of this guy. Yeah. There was like this older gentleman around 50. Yeah. Um, crashed into him. Yep. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry, oh my God. Yep. And then um, went home, whatever. He had my number, my details. I get a call back a week later and he's like, um, oh, sorry. Give me one sec. No, he's like... Oh. Just saved it. We'll put that on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, it's going to be $600, blah, yes. blah. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. I'll pay it, etc. Yeah. And then he asked me out on a date. I see. Yeah. Whip, whee. I know. And yeah. then I was like, oh, thank you so much. Really nice, but no. Y right. Mm -hmm. And then three months later, I get a call back from my insurance company, and they're like, the claim is not 600, it's 2,000. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay, so you you said no to the date, and he nearly claim. quadrupled the the, uh, the price of the repairs. Yep. I see, well. My dad's like, you should have gone on the date. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Under four minutes remaining. <laughs> I see, okay, well. Okay, Damien Heads, how's it going over here? Awesome, Colin. You've We've got just to be got very the, um... careful in those situations. Yeah. Yes. I've just dropped the eggs into the hot water for the poaching, and I'm just going to make the three egg open face, open face omelet. So the idea with the open face omelet is you just don't flip it over. But what's really nice with something like the prosciutto that we're using is to actually warm the eggs through, make your omelet so they're just cooked, and then drape the prosciutto over the top so that it just warms the prosciutto through. Okay. And you get the full flavour of that product on top. Now, what's your secret of a of a of a beautiful poached egg, Damien? Oh, it's, it's a very simple. simple cooking kind of technique, use, but, use, I, use but fresh, so many people have trouble with use it. Use fresh eggs and simmering water and you should be okay. Yes. So uh, the vinegar, that's not... You can add a splash of vinegar if you yes. know your eggs are sort of a week old in the fridge. Oh, but so if you've got if... fresh eggs from the farmer's market, you definitely don't need to, oh. you know, like it's just kind of like that. I see. Because what I... happens is the albumin, you know, the white in the egg, yep. it actually loses its strength the older it gets. So. I you know, see. you drop the egg in and it goes everywhere. It's a slightly older it's egg. It's slightly older. When it's fresh, it all holds together. But okay. you can usually see it when you crack the egg, whether it's wobbly and jelly-like or if it's... OK. And... Two and a half minutes, Vezzy. Oh. Two and a half minutes remaining. Oh, thank you for scaring me, Colin. Oh, That's no, nice. No, 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 no. I think you're under control. Damien Heads is uh, doing quite well there. That's good. Uh, what about your uh, shopping sprees with uh, Denise? 
You go out and spend a, spend a bomb every day, do you? Yeah, but you know, I think I'm a bit more controlled. I see. Yeah, Denise, she just lacks self-control. Oh, does I'm, she? Yeah, she just, she just goes in there and I'll go in and see something and then she's buying it. Ah. <laughs> We've got the same shoes because she just, uh, you know, she cramps my style. Like, oh, Denise, I see. <laughs> get that some is not true. <laughs> it is true. Get I make some originality. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. So do you have to call each other before you go out to make sure that you're not wearing the same stuff, you know? It actually doesn't bother us. We turn we up to work with the, the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, the same oh, shoes. By accident. Oh, really? By accident. So you're like her common sense uh, social conscience behind her, kind of just saying, I wouldn't buy that if I was you, that no. kind of thing? She says, buy it, buy it. Oh! <laughs> and uh, I just want to uh, get a pronunciation Mint of your you whole to... name before we finish up. Can you just... Tell the lovely uh, people in the audience and at home what your full name is. Do we have enough time? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Uh, just, yeah. just coming up to a minute. I think it's here. We go. 40, uh, 58 seconds. Ready, set, go. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. That's great. Just one more time. Here we go. Oh, yes. I love that last bit. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay, here I go. I'm going to try and attempt it. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Okay. Here we go. The music's going. Jackie Gowan is everything under control I'm going to be here. Ready. 30 I'm ready. seconds. I'm ready. The omelets, the baked eggs, they're done. We plated them up beforehand. The muesli looks fantastic. Denise, you're under control there. Yeah, just chopping some mint. Doing some mint work. Great to see. Good. Damien, is everything going to happen Absolutely. the way that you wanted it to? Just Are you draping, draping the prosciutto, prosciutto over the top? I love your terminology, Damien. Draping, draping the prosciutto. Great. It's a breakfast frenzy here on Ready, Steady, Cook. OK, let's recap on what Damien started with today. Smoked salmon prosciutto from Hans. Mushrooms, avocado, and blueberries. And Jackie started with some goat's cheese, chorizo, baby spinach, buttermilk from Paul's, and some bananas. Okay, Damien. Oh, it's muffin time. Muffins oh, are ready. Fresh. Yum, blueberry and lemon muffins. Oh, lovely. Oh. Let's start, Vessi, with the um, the sauteed mushrooms with sage and the avocado oh. salsa. If you want to tuck um, it in and yes, try please. that. Yes. I love sage. It's yummy. Beautiful. It's, it's yum. an underrated herb, that's for sure. Yes, it yeah. is. Goes really well with mushrooms. Yes. Okay. Mm. How's that, Vezzy? You've got no chance. Oh! oh you can't compete with this, I Vezzy. see. Okay. The next, dish, no the next dish is our oh. open-faced omelette, which we've draped the prosciutto over with the gra um, grated parmesan. So, oh. yes. a really si simple breakfast idea, but just dropping that prosciutto and warming it through at the last minute is beautiful. Serve some toast on the side. Open-faced mm. omelette. Mm. It Great. saves the hassle oh, of flipping it over. Yes, oh, I see. And then we've got this one here, which is the poached egg with the, um, the smoked salmon and avocado oh. served on the toast. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. some fresh tomato in there. Huge Lovely. Mouthful. Yum. Mm. Fairly healthy breakfast, that, really. Fairly healthy, Fairly yes. Healthy, yes. yes. But they're and not so healthy. We've got <laughs> these muffins, which are just yummy. The only reason they've shot up like that is we cook them really fast, but if you cook them a little bit slower, they'll rise just beautifully. Yes. Nice and even. But they're cooked through beautiful blueberry and lemon muffins. Ah, what are they like there, Vezzy? Oh, they are outstanding. Outstanding. Well, I'm Damien. Great. Yeah. OK, <laughs> Damien Heads, what are we going to call this? Well, Vessie's burnt brownies caused her college to evacuate, but you'll want to try our muffins. They taste great. They taste oh! great. <laughs> they taste great. I didn't even do the dusting, Damien. Mm. No, I'm not drizzling, not dusting, you're not nothing. Drizzling, you're not drizzling, not dusting. I'm having a strike on all that. OK. All right, he doesn't need the dusting or drizzling, Jackie Gowan. Interesting concept there, Damien. That's all right, that's all right. Can each he... to their own. Each to their own, absolutely. But we do love a drizzle. We do love a drizzle. OK, so let's start with our uh, toasted muesli, which doesn't have any honey or butter. Oh, it was just toasted. Oh, doesn't it? So it's healthy. We'll just put a little bit of milk in there as well. Yes. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle a bit of drizzle. milk. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah. And obviously the uh, frozen berries uh, folded through the yogurt. Just defrosted oh, those. Really ah. easy to make your own yogurt at home, oh, yeah. or flavoured yogurt. Yes. Mm. Oh, 
that's a good response. Bezzy, you got nothing on that. <laughs> 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 Why don't you just go have a cry, okay? Because you're not winning today. Okay, I, I will separate you two. I will be strict. Okay, and the baked eggs with chorizo.